Oh, hi there. My name's Altari, the professional gamer. I'm here in our research and development lab to share with you our new Greatsword build video. The Brimstone Sands update just came out today, and there is a lot to unpack and explore with this new update. So be sure to like and subscribe so that you can get notifications on all future content. With that being said, let's go ahead and jump right on in it here on Altari the Professional Game. All right, first up is going to be the Greatsword Masteries. Here's the Greatsword, yay, it's finally here. So the Greatsword has two different stances, Path of Onslaught and also Path of Defiance. Both of these have a significant effect on how you're playing your build, so be sure to pay attention to which one you're in while you're fighting. We're gonna be taking Relentless Rush, which is going to slow our enemies while giving us Empower and either healing us or rooting our enemies for one second, depending on what stance we're in. This is going to be very, very efficient at catching up to your enemies, as well as dealing a decent amount of damage. And depending on what perk you have, you might be able to break CC stuns while using this ability as well. Next up is Skyward Slash, which also has the perk Skyward Nullification, removing some buffs from the enemy or reducing how long they have on them. It will also apply a disease and you'll get a second attack that does a lot of damage as well as giving you a little bit of air time. Then we have Calamity Counter. Calamity Counter is going to be giving you a super block where 90% of the stamina damage is going to be reduced. That, in addition to Energizing Counter, is going to give us a lot of stamina, and this build uses stamina like crazy. Next, we're gonna just be taking the perks that are gonna be giving us a lot of damage and some sustain. Keen Posture is really, really important because it's going to be guaranteeing crits after all of our Onslaught skills. That paired with Critical Comeback, where when you land a crit, you gain five stamina and 5% of your health back is super good. Step and Strike is giving you Empower for three seconds, which is really, really great. And then Unrelenting Onslaught gives you cooldown reduction, which is gonna be great for our heavy charged attacks that we're gonna be using because of Unflinching Blade, which inflicts bleeds as well as gives grit to charged heavy attacks. Guarded Shift is just gonna be so we can switch over to Defiance without having to use Calamity Counter. And then Perfect Vigilance is just gonna be giving us really good survivability for those initial attacks that you're doing. That's the Great Sword. And now we're going to swap over to the Warhammer, which is going to be our paired weapon for this build. So here's the Warhammer. It's a very, very simple build. You've probably run this before. You're going to be using Wrecking Ball, Sundering Shockwave to get that rend on your enemy while also stunning them. And then Path of Destiny with Leeching Path of Destiny to get some of that health back and also some cooldowns. Then you're just going to be stacking the normal fortify and extra damage, but for the most part, you're going to be using this weapon on cooldowns and you're not really going to be attacking with any light or heavy attacks on it. We're primarily going to be using this build to stun our enemies, get them CC locked, and then set them up for some really heavy damage attacks with the Greatsword. So for our attributes, we're going to be running 250 dex, 200 strength, and 110 con. Some things to consider while you are playing with this build is the attack speed difference between your different stances and your charged heavy attacks. Because again, remember, charged heavy attacks is what's going to do the damage. Here you can see the difference between a onslaught charged heavy and a normal charged heavy. Now, another thing to consider is that when you're in Defiant Stance, charged heavy attacks now lock any attack that comes in during your charged heavy. This will result in stamina drain out the wazoo anytime you're in a group fight and in Defiant Stance doing charged attacks. So instead, be sure to be using light attacks while in Defiant Stance. Now, for your cooldown cycle, you're going to probably initiate with Leeching Path of Destiny to get some enemies to use their stamina, go with a Relentless Rush, hit a heavy attack, Skyward Nullification to disease them, 
Then swap over to your Shockwave and your Wrecking Ball to get some CC stuns, hit them a couple of times with some heavy attacks, and then you can pair that into either Defiant Stance with Calamity Counter or by holding block in order to use your guard stance. Now here you see the light, medium, and heavy armor cooldown cycles for our attack. And then we compare the light attack and charged heavy attack for normal, defiant, and onslaught stances. Now What's important to note here is that there's virtually no difference between the armor types, and really, the heavy armor survives by only one extra attack. Last but certainly not least, we wanted to show you a demo of how this works in an actual duel. So we're starting off with Legion Path of Destiny. We're going up against a sword and board hatchet user, so he's actually pretty difficult to go up against for this build. We really have to land some CC on him in order to actually get some work done. Now, we know that he's going to be trying to stun us, so we block him with a Calamity counter, and this is where we're going to really open up on him because he has now used a lot of his stamina. We're going to try and get him to drain the last bit of it using Leeching Path of Destiny. We get lucky, we hit him with a Wrecking Ball, then a Shockwave. He gets slowed by our Relentless Rush, and then we finish him with a Skyward Nullification. If you liked watching this video, be sure to subscribe to the channel for all future updates. We'll be posting regularly on New World as well as other content that we find interesting. We appreciate your viewership here at The Professional Gamer, and we hope to see you around. Thank you, consumers, and have a great rest of your day.